don't be shy, try to generate uh, novel ideas. I'm working at the University of Trento in the north of Italy and uh, uh, I'm working at the Center for Mind Brain Sciences and I'm interested in cognition and the neural basis of cognitive activities that I am investigating using animal models. Well, because I am interested in the evolution of minds and brains, so I'm interested in a comparative approach uh, in order to have a wide representation of the varieties of mind in the, uh, in the world. Yes, of course, Douglas Spalding is not very well known, but uh, Spalding discovered the phenomenon of filial imprinting and can be considered the true founder of the field of ethology and behavioral biology. Unfortunately, he passed away very young, so he is not very, very well recognized. Yes, I think so, starting from my uh, very first years at the high school, I thought I was interested in uh, um, cognition and, and the brain. Well, I like very much uh, data, looking at data when the experiment is finished. And I like also very much uh, um, the phase in which you have hypothesis formulation, ideas, generation of ideas. And the, the one that I like the less is certainly uh, uh, looking for grants and, and writing projects for having grants. I started my career looking at the brain asymmetry in animals. At the time, uh, the general claim was that brain asymmetry was unique of human species and then we moved quite a lot from this idea in the years learning that it is in fact widespread among vertebrates from fish to reptiles to mammals to birds uh, but in recent years I was very surprised to find that it is also there in arthropods brains for instance insects or even uh, humble uh, worms for instance, in the nematode worm C. elegans, which has just uh, uh, 303 neurons. Ah, that's fantastic. It was the Saturn illusion, a new stereokinetic effect. And in fact, it was not a paper on um, animals, no human, human animals. It was a paper on visual perception in humans, describing a uh, uh, an illusion in which the rotation of a plane of a, a two-dimensional figure image would produce uh, an astonishing impression of three-dimensional objects moving into space. Uh, it was very nice. No, of course, we are uh, describing a paper uh, published, I think, in 1985 so there was no open access at the time. It was on visual research, yeah. Yes, of course, the classical one. I think that I would suggest um, The Double Helix by uh, Jim Watson uh, and, of course, The Surface Gene by Richard Dawkins. Beautiful books uh, uh, for all scientists and particularly for young scientists. Yes, I'm writing a book and the title will be very likely um, uh, Born Knowing and it is a book on what is in the brain uh, before experience would act to model the brain. So it's a book on uh, innate knowledge. Is important of course we are all happy of having some sort of recognition but it is not the uh, funny part 
of science. The funny part is having ideas and doing experiments. I remember that uh, Winston Churchill said that democracy is the worst form of government except for all the others. So probably uh, the publication process, the peer review uh, process is the worst form of governmental publication, but uh, uh, there are no better alternatives. Well, I think uh, free scientists from the cost and hassle of seeking research funds. Uh, there should be some sort of mechanism uh, uh, allowing scientists to work in peace and without any pressure for some time. Not for eternity, of course, but for longer periods. I think the right to criticize anyone, being a postdoc or a Nobel Prize, it doesn't matter. It was from my mentor that once said, I don't believe a thing you talk uh, about your hypothesis, but nonetheless, go and try to do the experiment. Well, I think basically by uh, triangulation, uh, of different kind of experiments uh, uh, rather than simply reproducing a specific experiment. Curiosity about what is going on in the brains of other creatures, particularly teen creatures. You can follow my research and the activity of my research group in the website of my laboratory. I think it would be very nice if you uh, get an interview by Nicholas Humphrey, who is a colleague that, who I estimate very much, uh, is a, a neuropsychologist and an evolutionary psychologist with a lot of bright and very original ideas. Don't be shy, try to generate uh, novel ideas.